All right, here we go. Holy crap. Um, just been to the post office so I can organize all my parcels to be picked up by my girlfriend, Romina. Man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. So we're gonna head to Triumph. Let's get crazy, man. This is, this is crazy. It's nerve wracking, it's crazy. Bike's so heavy, I'm not used to it. How's everything there back there? I hope I tied everything down nice. Oh, this is good. Coolish day, which is nice. I can't believe we're doing this. I actually can't believe it. It's blows my mind. It's the first time using this camera, so I don't know. We'll see. I guess I'm gonna get used to it. So we're at Triumph, currently waiting for Nick. He's at the post office, so he's just making sure that he doesn't get deported while we're on this trip. <laughs> Unknowingly. But yeah, we're at Triumph. We're ready to go, baby. Crazy. Nervous? Yes. Uh, Anxious, yes, excited, no so pumped, excuse me? No satellite phone. No satellite phone, yeah, it hasn't, it didn't come. I, I, like, it's gonna arrive today at some point, it could be arriving now, we just don't know, and it's with a different courier, which doesn't make it easy for us. So, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We're gonna, yeah, we'll see what happens, eh? Maybe Romina will get it and be able to um, send it back here and then get it shipped to Broken Hill in a few days time, so, um, yeah. I don't know, let's wait for Nick, eh? There he is, there he is, there he is! <laughs> Run it back, guys, run it back, run it back! Woo! What? Okay. The boys are officially on. Yeah, it's on. It's official. <laughs> yeah, we need to get better at that. <laughs> How do you feel, bro? Tired. Tired? <laughs> Same. No, I feel fresh. Tonight, yeah, it's gonna be. I'm gonna sleep at like six o'clock while I'm riding still. <laughs> so I'm, sleeping. I'm sleepy. Okay, we're ready to uh, bounce. We're ready to embark. This is like literally the it. This is the it, man. The it. The it. it. Four and a half thousand Ks starts literally as soon as we roll forward a little bit here. Um, the remain is currently organizing my gloves, so I'm nice and comfy, comfy for the trip. Okay, okay. Uh, we're set. We've had a coffee. No, we haven't. We've had water. <laughs> Because water's better for you me. Need to pee. I don't need to pee. Oh, I just did. I'm semi dehydrated. Alright, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Great, great <laughs> Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do a little weed. Uh, should we do it? I reckon we should do it. Woo! Here we go! And so we ripped it straight for the mountains. We made a quick little pit stop as Nick soon found out that wearing a 25 kilo backpack isn't such a great idea. So he rearranged some gear and this is the outcome. He's sitting so far forward, he's like, his balls are like just washing against the tank. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Good times. He was super uncomfortable, but I don't care. Look at this ridiculous scenery, man. I was so, I was fluffing. This was just the most stunning thing, even just coming down the mountain on the other side, seeing now these little towns have these epic mountains behind them. I love all this stuff with all the, like, the mountains in the background. Sort of like New Zealand, Switzerland, maybe. Doosh. It's so nice, eh? The boys are on. Insanely beautiful. Wow. I've got bugs splattered all over my visor. Can you see it? Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. That's incredible, man. Wow. Plane flying over. Look at. Oh, my back. Ah, oh, there we go. Look at that. It's so straight. It's so flat. It's so pretty. It's so flat, it's so pretty. Three hours later, we made it to Bathurst, home of the Mount Panorama racetrack. This racetrack is easily one of the most popular racetracks out of the V8 Supercar Championships as it is a 161 lap or 1,000 kilometer race in one day. I raced this track many times on Xbox and PlayStation and today was the day I get to race Nick on my motorbike. This is cool, this. This is cool, man. <laughs> Mount Panorama Racetrack. Wow. I've never done this. Wow. This is so cool, man. <laughs> so that was turn one. But now we're going down this track. I, don't, I, forget, I forget what the names are. This is sick. 
This is so sick. <laughs> Bunk. <laughs> <laughs> See you, mate. Oh, it's neck and neck. Oh, he's coming. He's coming out my outside. Oh, he's got him. Oh, he's, he's taking him around the corner. Oh, oh he's, no, he's lost him. He's lost him. Grant's got him. Grant has him on the inside lane. Oh, check it out. Oh, he's cut it so sick. Oh, we're on the ripple strip. He's up on the ripple strip. Was fun. After converting our bikes back to four stroke from two stroke, we headed out west for another one and a half hours, covering so much grassland, nice sweeping bends, beautiful sun, beautiful atmosphere. It was just, it was bang. I was loving this. Until. Just had to find um, where the next petrol station was because I want two bars, fuel light just came on. Oh man, are you serious? This is insane. Ah, it's so good. Wow. And so we headed straight for Manildra. Till this. There's a train in our way. Ooh. I don't know. But like that dude's there, that dude there's waiting. He's going back here. Are they going back in? There's a petrol station just up here. There's a petrol station just here. I think I'll take it. My fuel light's on. We quickly found another way around the train and made it to the petrol station. Thank goodness. But Okay, so as it turns out, there's no fuel here there's no one lettered here they've run out um so the next place is 55 k's away we're both on low fuel let's go see how we go man <laughs> and it begins baby <laughs> holy crap how funny is that oh wow yeah right i got 53 k's no hard no hard throttling just just cruise baby <laughs> I can't believe it's already like already at that point 35 minutes shot yeah 30, yeah we got this we got this we feel good guys uh, okay <laughs> I'll check back in with you when um, I don't know when we're either there or we're running the field <laughs> so um wish us luck <laughs> oh! <laughs> So we've got 17 k's to go and I'm on 28. Depends how accurate these things are. I don't know. I've been on one bar of fuel for a while. Uh, but like 13 minutes. At 100 k's an hour, that's still pretty far away. Uh, so we're three minutes away. Nick just gave me the signal that he's on two k's. Um, and we're about three k's away. So like it's fine. Either way, I'm on 12, so... Oh, we made it. It's just right here, BP. That was a close one, eh, hey boys? So we filled up our almost bone dry tanks, got a solid feed and made this discovery. I got 316 Ks out of that tank and we were um, we, we were prepping for around 200 or 220 Ks out of a tank of mine. How good's that? Literally, we got 100 Ks more. Right into the sunset, baby. Let's ride into it. Riding into the sunset is what we do. Now in Australia, this is a beautiful but dangerous time as kangaroos can just jump out any time. Fire out. Smells amazing. It's just absolutely stunning. I was in awe, but my eyes were peeled. It's not a time that you want to be on the road. And it's not only kangaroos that come out at this time. So many bugs, man. <laughs> so many bugs. 
So with obscured vision, sun setting, kangaroos maybe jumping out everywhere, we finally made it to Kondobolin. Hey, we made it, real made it, yeah, we made it, woo! That's where that's us, right there, baby. Look at that little pub in there, hells yes, that's exactly what we need. Oh, ish, ish. Oh, good. <laughs> Shut up. Man, look at my headlight. This headlight's insane. In my rear view mirror, it looks like a fucking train. Oh, really? One big one and two fogs, uh, and it's like a triangle. Ah, oh, sick. That's what I'm after, baby. I want to look like a train. We made it, man. We freaking made it. Man, so sick. All right, we're going to check in. Um, Gonna get a feed and stuff, and then we're gonna, I don't know, have a little front. <laughs> Might get naked. Hey, day one, baby. Day one. Day one. Day one. So hectic. Uh, Our ladies are still there, which is, uh, what a bonus to the to the trip, hey? <laughs> they didn't get stolen. You! I actually heard some noises, and I was just like, holy crap, that sounds like oh. the sound <laughs> of someone stealing a petrol tank. That's why we need you on this trip, because... Our bike's going to be lit on fire, uh, yeah, and I'll right. be like, I wonder if I could get this credit card deposit. Because I'm a horrible sleeper. I literally got three hours sleep last night. That was, that's cool. And before that, I got like four hours sleep, and before that, I got like three hours sleep. So you got like nine. You're like nine. So this stuff's pretty good, huh? Hmm, let's give it a, let's give it a crack, shall we? Well, what the heck, man? I didn't even, I haven't even sprayed this on and it's already clean. Do you have to spray this on this or not? No, you just, just put the bottle beside it. Oh, right. Put the bottle beside it. Man, that's crazy. I didn't even use any. This is it. We're about to, we're about to go, go ham. First, we've got to just get some more fuel. It'll load up my fuel tank. And then we're going to get some water and stuff from the supermarket. It's around the corner. Then we're gonna just pin it, man. It's gonna be sick. Mongo National Park, here we come. Oh, baby. We're back in our bikes and heading even further to the heart of New South Wales. This is when the true outback started becoming noticeable. The red dirt, the flat terrain, the dry heat, and the absolute nothingness for hours. It was incredible. We passed through so many small towns and all I kept wondering was how do people live out here? What's the attraction? And if you are one of these people, please drop me a line because I'm so interested at how you live out here. Alrighty, we just rocked up to Hillston. Hillston! So we're just going to be getting some fuel here. Hopefully they have fuel. <laughs> Damn, it is so hot man. I'm like sweating up a storm in this thing. Like constantly, even while riding, or the wind does nothing. So funny, man. These little towns, these little towns do it for me. I love it. Imagine just like old school back in the day, just horse and cart, just walking up here, and you're like, you'd never make it to Sydney. Like, Sydney would be like a week's journey. Going to Sydney, oh, see you in three months. <laughs> Where is this one survey? Alrighty, here we go. Gonna get some fuel, have a bit of a drink, and then we'll be back on the road all the way to Ivanhoe. And that's what we did. One and a half hours, 148 kilometers to Ivanhoe. Pfft, no problem. Hey, look at this, man. What? absolute barren wasteland where temperatures are rising plus 40 degrees Celsius. Then this. Now we've got a detour. How long does this go for? We thought it was going to be a short detour. We were expecting the road to just pop up at any time. And then we realised 
this isn't stopping anytime soon. Like, where are we, man? Pennant! Damn him, I can't even see his headlights. Come on, show me some headlights there. He's just going slow. That's cool. What's it like? Yeah, it's a bit, that's a bit sandy. He made it. Yeah. It's just so hectic, hey. <laughs> like, we're really literally up. Like, it's just dead flat, man. I don't want to pull over just because it's so damn hot. It is so hot. No shade, no reception, 40 degrees Celsius. If something were to happen now, we wish we had our satellite phone. Which, by the way, arrived an hour and a half after we left. Oh, 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 oh. Holy crap. This is so soft. Holy crap. I got heaps definitely. Oh, I got it. It's not clay anymore, it's just soft like sand, dirt, you know, soft. The trees were disappearing by the kilometre. The further out we were, the hotter the temperature got. These conditions were becoming very harsh. And we had to be careful. If one of us came off now, in some serious trouble. A barren wasteland. Alrighty, so how long do you reckon we've been riding on here for, man? Two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Just this, man. Like, and it gets what? This is like this good stuff. This is great. <laughs> this is the good stuff. Look at this, man. Like, nothing. Just constant, just that constant breeze. I was going to get some water in because far out. It's like, it's hot. It's it's probably 40 degrees, 40, I reckon 42 degrees or something. Got no receptors. No receptors. Um, a few sketchy moments. Oh. Just a few. Yeah. Well, I had a couple of big ones. <laughs> I had a couple of rear break. Oh, Nick, put your foot up, put your foot up, put your foot up, put your foot up. But like, it all of a sudden, like, the, it just changes. It changes through like four different types of road surface. Um, and just like that as well. So if you pin in it, and all of a sudden you hit that crazy dark dirt. Whatever that is. It's almost like sand. You just go and it's just you're a constant wobble man until you gain traction. It's hectic. This is so insane. Um, and we still got we still got a chunk to go. We've done I mean you got some water. about we've done about 90% of the last hour. Okay. Um so gnarly. This is so 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 oh, hectic. Is that this road is exactly 110 kilometers. Oh serious? Oh really? Well, that's good. Uh, so yeah, crap. And it's just it's just hectic because like I've done off road before and like it's all good, but with all the extra weight, we got extra fuel, like 20 kilos, literally just put on today alone, plus all the stuff in the back. And that's extra, extra weight alone. It's 50 kilo. I weighed everything before. I went. So literally 50 out of kilo. So right now, top weight is 175 kg. Yeah, and you can feel it. You definitely can feel it. It's just sketchy. Anyway, this is the bloody outback and we're frothing. Um, just that silence, like, oh, it's windy, but it's just dead silent. No ambient noise. Um, all right, we're gonna keep on trekking. The sun's directly, uh, it's almost, it's just clicking over. It was directly above us. Uh, we didn't get it, we didn't get it. It's quite a drumming nuts. <laughs> Oh man, so we just pinned it here. We got, oh, we were so good seeing tarmac again. Holy moly. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bugs, the bugs, the bugs were huge. There's literally a bug stuck on my rim. I don't know where it is now, but they're like, it's like this big. 
literally no shade so we we're both just super dehydrated i was overheating i felt it like as soon as i pulled up i just had to get everything off go inside to this little this little joint here little petrol station man like, this is just the unleaded one and then that's the diesel one that's it like that's it and all these locals man like everyone just came chatting to us and stuff it's pretty funny but the locals were telling us about how the king browns man they'll just like jump at you especially motorcyclists when riding like if they're on the road so king brown snakes here in australia they're like the deadliest snake you get tagged by one of those pretty much done and nick's wigging out he hates snakes and he's freaking out now but yeah so from here we've got to go to mungo now so we just filled up we're we're both just so wrecked like that was hectic the 100 k's on that dirt road the dirt road's uneasy with heavy bikes as we discovered but we're glad we're on the tarmac now we're probably going to hit dirt roads in the future for sure um but yeah um the next worry are these bloody snakes so hopefully you don't freaking see any of them so after much discussion much pondering much much uh much freaking out we've been trying to think of what to do because it's getting dark and we have a hell of a long way to ride way more dirt road again it's like two hours two and a half hours on dirt road or something an hour and a half which means two and a half for us because we're taking out and we're just being careful um the sun's gonna set almost soon and we're just sort of like what the heck do we do and we're, we're looking at that place over there it's yeah. pretty damn tasty so i reckon tomorrow what we could do is we could go here we have to do a bit of unsealed road yeah it goes kind of better sealed we go down to like here turn right and this is all actual sealed shit right into mungo right okay i think maybe that's the plan of action right, shall we I think there's a vibe. Then we can Please. charge a crab, we can take the drone up for a little bit, just chill out, have a beer, just Please. sleep early. Play, play a smart move. Like, yeah, yeah. Safe, we'll just we'll just chill. Like I'm we'll be in Mungo National Park tomorrow, which is fun. And we'll be there early. And we got here come for free at the other place. So this is like the you know It's meant to be. Hey, hey, hey. All we know is that we don't know, baby. Let's just say there's a come here. Otherwise we'll just camp here. But that place looks cool. It does look cool, hey. It does look it looks like we're from Texas. Yeah, I think it looks sick. Oh, which way this way? <laughs> yeah, man. Nick's happy again. Yay. Oh, I'm always happy. It's just like I'm tired, bro. Yeah, I'm like, getting tired as well. I don't know how to explain. And like, what we, we did a bunch of off roading. Click the link in, right? It's there. There? It's to see us off roading? <laughs> I was in the Jeep, you know what I mean? And we had some sketchy times, yeah. and you had a good time. But that kind, when you're like, hard compact and then gravel and then just snow <laughs> like wobbles yeah you f do i put my foot down or i'm gonna break my foot i don't know yeah yeah, yeah. i saw you put your foot down i was like get that back up but but, but, but they also say that foot down always to check what, what yeah i know yeah so, oh yeah yeah and then, well, i got sand in my boot now oh, <laughs> you know what i mean you. all right let's uh we'll check out this calm and then hopefully well hey guess what if there's no good calm guess we're going to mango <laughs> crap crap and we ended up booking a place at the hotel um and man, it's been awesome. We just had a feed, we had a beer. Um, the locals are just super interested in this hay, obviously, because they're like, what the hell? What are these blacks? What are you guys doing? Who are you? Where are you going? And they're all pumped. They're all pumped on our adventure. They've all been super friendly, giving us mad pointers, where the dirt roads are, what type of dirt it is. Um, so yeah, it's been nice. And now we get to just have a little, like, just a relaxing ride around which is so good. It's, I feel like this. It's, we've already been on this trip for like 20 days. <laughs> um, I can't believe we're like yesterday morning Randy left. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna pin it, have a bit of, bit of a blast. Let's see how we go. It's gonna be sick. Day two into this epic adventure. Already things have gone unexpected. Uncertainty is just around the corner, not knowing what's gonna happen the next day. Not knowing if our bikes will survive it. Not knowing if we'll survive it. But that is the challenge. That is the adventure. Endless roads. Flat terrain, red dust. It's only been day two of the adventure and already I'm feeling growth.
disconnected but reconnected. Pushing ourselves to our limits. We knew this is where we're meant to be. Exploring our backyard. We travelled into the heart of New South Wales. But our journey has just begun. later. What? What? No. I don't know. Far out. I know these flies are just, just... <laughs> you want to just go here and just milk it? Just... What's your gut telling you right now? 